Welcome, everybody. It's me, it's I Hate Will, and this is Red Dead Redemption. I was gonna say two, but it's just the first one. Yes, sir, the second one hasn't come out yet. I do not have a time machine to go forward a year. We are right outside Cooch Chapel, where we are going to meet a man named Seth. We have been warned by Nigel West Dickens that he's a bit of a weirdo. So let's see what Sethy boy's up to, huh? Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that was not a graceful way to leave your horse. There's our floaty X. Let's go do it. All right, weirdo. Excuse me, are you Seth? Who are you? I'm a friend of Mr. Wes Dickens. My name is Marston. John Marston. Goodbye, John Marston. It's been a great pleasure. I need your help, Seth. We need your help. Me and Mr. Wes Dickens. Let me be frank for one second, partner. I hate people. It was people who got me in this mess in the first place. What mess? <laughs> Look at me. Look, scrambling around. Look for maps, half insane. I ain't washed in six months. My hair falling out, my mind's going. What happened? <laughs> what happened? My partner. He stole half my map. I never would have done that to him. Never. Look at me. Who did this to you? My partner. My boy, my man. Moses Ford. Your lover? I don't have the facility to tell you what I would have done for that man and what I would do to him now. Why? Because he stole half my goddamn map. And what map's that then? The map, partner. The map that tells me where it is. Where what is, friend? I ain't telling you that. I ain't. <laughs> don't make me tell, partner. <laughs> <clears throat> Sure. And where's this Moses now? He's at Benedict Point. The law got him for exhuming. Some people, they feel differently. Not Moses. Him and me are the same. The self same. Well. Come on, Seth. Let's go see Moses, get you your map back. Then maybe you'll help me. All right, partner. Let's go. Let's go do it. Okay. Horses are over here. Here we go. So he's got that sickly horse. I have this beautiful golden haired stallion. All right, head on through. The music is so dope in this game. All right. So we're going to go find Moses. Not the Old Testament Moses, but some weirdo down, named Moses. Digging up graves and looting from the dead. Ha, hmm. hypocrite. The whole damn body. Are you saying it's better to steal from the living? They're corpses. They don't care, none. These people have been laid to rest. You don't know nothing. I talk to them long after they've been forgotten by every other fellow. I tell them it's all right to be scared and alone. I embrace them when they're stinking and rough. I met some sick bastards in my time, Seth. But you, you're special. Folk is cold and heartless all their lives. To me, they get warmer when they're actually cold and heartless. Surely that makes sense to even you. Not exactly, it don't. Are we really living anyway? Do you exist outside my mind? Maybe we're both having the same dream and when we wake up, We'll die. I certainly seem to be in some kind of nightmare. Alright. Well, a little philosoph uh, philosophy. <laughs> philosophy with Seth there. Uh, Seth, we following the road? Okay. Uh, looked in the cave, Seth? Very good. <laughs> it's very dark. What'd you say? I, I didn't say nothing. I just heard you say something. You're a crazy man. You should get that head looked at. Seth? I need someone who can get a wagon inside Fort Mercer. 
was told you could help me, but I'm not sure you even know what day it is. I don't. I can't even tell you what year it is. I knew this was a waste of time. So, you want to go after Bill Williamson, do you? You know Bill? Oh, yes. I met Williamson and Deke and all them boys. Sometimes they call me on when they get some special job needs doing. I got a reputation as a man who do things most other fellas won't. Now, that I can believe. I reckon you can get in there, no bother. Assuming you help me find this map, that is. Okay, so, a little bit of character development for Seth there. Watch out, coyotes. Ran over you. Stupid idiots. Okay. Right now, the world is very gray. Not a lot of color. Just unimaginable riches and such like. A spark of hope that lit a rage and fire I can't put out. I thought as much. Another treasure hunter losing everything in the search for nothing. Oh, I lost it all, partner. My wife, my children, my business. Good riddance to them all. I don't eat, I don't sleep, I don't wash, and I don't care. I know. I can smell you from here. All right, let's go over here. Right here. There. We're at Benedict right. Point. This is it. Let's stop here a moment and come up with a plan. Okay. As far as I know, Moses is being held in that shack. There's a couple of deputies keeping guard outside. Can you distract him so I can sneak in for a quick parlay with that son of a bitch? I'm sure I can think of something. All right, let's go do it. Oh, what happened? They just up and disappeared. Leave them away from the shack and out of sight. Somewhere out past that hill. Okay. Okay. We can do that. Let's get our horse right here. And let's steal one of these, huh? Don't this one right here. On horses, oh, I'm going to steal a horse hey, there, sir. Stealing me a horse? Now what? Come on, Come on horse. Oh, jeez. Um, medicine? We're good. We good. Oh, oh. Oh, no. Oh. Get on my horse. Get on my horse. Okay. Come on. I saw something very disturbing on my capture window, so as soon as we get away from these guys, I'm going to go check it out. Hopefully we're still recording. Come on. Come on. Lay it down. Come on. Oh, jeez. I wish I could hog tie these guys. Seems like an awful lot of work just to talk to one weirdo. Okay. Okay. Oh, they still see us. They still see us and they're still shooting at us. Oh! Oh! Oh, we should stay on the trail, right? We should stay on the trail, okay. Stay on the trail. Oh, this is way out here. Way out here. Okay, come on. Just stick with it. That was our problem, not staying on the trail. We weren't going as fast as we could. Alright, that should do it. That should get our wanted level down. And we're good. Okay. So we have a bounty still. That's cool. That's fine. No problem. It's okay. Alright, let me go check my capture, okay? Okay, we are back here. We're fine. Hey, Seth. Good job getting rid of them clowns. Now keep an eye out in case they come back. Moses? Oh, Moses! You got a visitor! Oh my god, Seth! 
They arrested me. It weren't my fault. Ah! Get the hell away from me! Get that slippery bastard! I need him alive, though! All right, let's go get him. Seth, <clears throat> let's talk about this. You know, I know you're not healthy. I can run faster than you. I can run faster than you, son. That's what I thought. Come here. Why are you doing this? You big old dummy. Oops, I jumped. <laughs> Instead of picked him up, I just jumped you straight up. Trusting that crazy bastard. He, he's a means to an end. That's all what the this that's all this is about, really. Okay. Uh we're not far enough away to place him on the horse, so we're just gonna walk it out. Alright, watch out, horse. Don't be crazy. Don't be crazy. Whatever he told you it's a lie. Oh, Moses. Moses, Moses, Moses. You nearly got lost in the desert there, didn't you? Okay. Alright, Sethy baby. Look what I got. Got you a little Moses preg uh, pregnant present right here. Moses, you son of a bitch! Where's my damn map? Damn you, Seth! Damn you, Seth! You've always been a twisty little freak! I ain't telling you shit! Ah! Then I'm gonna cut you ah, up ah. piece by piece! <laughs> Till you find your tongue. Friend, this man's ah. gone crazy in the sun. Ah. I suggest you take my advice and start talking. Shut up, Marston! I wanna cut into a bona fide ah. man's flesh! Ain't ah. never cut into a live ah. one before! <laughs> Uh, odd, odd fellow's rest. It's an odd fellow's rest. Now, get away from me once and for all. Well, ain't that a damn shame. I was starting to enjoy myself. I think you gone pissed yourself, Moses. <laughs> Those deputies went and put a bounty on your head. Best we clear it now. Don't need the law on our backs. I don't have no money, but I got me a pardon letter. Here, take it. You earned it for helping me with the Moses. Uh. Come on. We can pay it off in the telegraph office. Ah! Ah! All right, sounds good. Come on. <coughs> ain't no time to be <clears throat> so, there's a telegraph office right here. And the folks inside probably saw me carry off Moses, bring him back. Maybe heard us interrogating him, and they're just going to let me pay off this crime. No problem. Willy-nilly. It's okay. All right, Mr. Mustache, here you go. I'm a reformed man. I'll just keep the uh, pardon letter for something more serious. All right, we're good. So, mister, thanks for your help. Don't worry yourself with thanks, Seth. Just help me when I come ask it. No problem, mister. Okay. So that was little Seth time, looks like. Uh, looks like we have a stranger right here. Let's go talk to him, see what's going on. Stranger, you in here? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> my, my, take you a look dandy, at you. You dandy, what's up? When you take a look at you, you look like you've seen trouble, mister. Enough for a hundred men. Trouble has a way of finding me, mister. Do I like the sound of that? Do I ever like the sound of that? Trouble with a capital T. That's just capital. Whatever you say. Cold? Tough, but with a heart of gold. The cowboy sings his lonely song, like, like a dog whose bone is made of wood. Excuse me? Oh, nothing. I, I was just writing my next piece. I've been sent out here to provide a little frontier joie de vivre for the ladies back east. I don't understand a word you're saying, mister. Yeah, my mom felt the same way. 
and now she wrote me out of her will, and there's no hope for any of us. <laughs> uh, Jimmy Saint, sir, at your disposal. But uh, please don't dispose of me just yet. <laughs> what are you doing out here, Jimmy? Capturing the spirit of the West for a monthly back east. You know, I'm uh, sending them my oh-so-witty and oh-so-pertinent missives and gaining myself a little prize in the bargain. So it's action I'm after, and action I'm gonna find, too. <laughs> Wild men, cheap women, you know, guns, that sort of thing. <laughs> well, you have fun. Fun? <laughs> I'm gonna have the time of my life, sport. I tell you, mister, the time of my little old life. <laughs> well, good for you there, buddy. Good for you. Alright. So, 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 so. Looks like we have a little Bonnie McFarlane mission I'd like to go do. So, let's take this stagecoach. Why not? It's right here. Let's see. McFarlane's Ranch for 18 bucks? You dang right I'm going. Give me the McFarlane's Ranch. Might as well get some fleet, mister. Alright, let's go ahead and rest up. Okay, so, we have something to do for Bonnie. I think it's going to be something pretty cool, if I recall. Maybe we'll use our guns? Maybe. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, pal. Have a good one. <clears throat> okay, so let's come over here to the Floating X and start this mission. It's called the burning. Excuse me, Mr. Marston. Have you seen my father anywhere? No. He went out this morning to ride the land and was supposed to be back hours ago. <clears throat> I don't know. The ranch hands have been out looking, but so far they've found nothing. Well, come on. Let's go look for him. Come on. All right. Let's see if we can find the old goat. Come on, horse. Where you at? Come on. Come on, horse. Come here. There we go. Lead the way, Bonnie. I've All got right. a bad feeling about this. It's not like him to be away for so long. Don't worry. We'll find him. He's not as young as he used to be. What if he's hurt himself? Your father can still handle himself just fine, Miss McFarlane. He's built like an oak. You're probably right, but I can't help worrying. He's all I've got. Yeah, he is a stout man. Don't you have any brothers or sisters, Miss McFarland? I had six brothers, but five of them died, either from sickness or foolish choices. And the other one? He left for the east and never came back. Must be getting on for ten years ago now. He's a high and mighty banker in New York, according to his last letter. He should be here, helping you and your pa. I don't want his help. He can live his life any way he wants. But when I see those city fellers coming in on the railway, all dressed up like a sore toe, I fear a little for his soul. He switched his saddle for a tie, and that's fine. I just never met a man in a tie I could trust. Okay, that's fine. Look, I think I see someone. Uh, where? Right up here? Gee up! Oh, buzzards. Oh, jeez. That's not good. Nice. Wrestlers, I guess. Maybe the Baller twins, that bunch. Now you head back to the ranch right now. Fetch your wagon. Yes, sir. Marston, you watch after her. I'll do that, sir. Please stay close. Okay, so come on, Bonnie. Let's go back. Come on, boy. What could have happened to those poor men? And the horses were dead, too. Right through here. Okay. People do bad things, hey, Bonnie. You lived your whole well, life with somebody that loves you more than anybody else in this world. Like he does not hate you. He's got nothing but love for you. And outside of your bubble, mm -mm. you have no clue how rough this world can be. Those damn rustlers! I've got a good mind to head over to Pike's Basin myself. I don't think that's a good idea. And you're no better. How many men have you killed? 
Do you really want to know? It's disgusting. You never met the men I killed. I heard. Look, Mr. Marston, the barn is okay, on fire. Okay, barns are on fire. Fire barn. Let's go. We can do it. We can save everything. Don't worry, Bonnie. We got you. All right, we're here. Okay. Well, I'm I'm here. Alright, let's go do this. Excuse me, Bonnie. Windmill is right there. Fine. Well, that's not gonna work, is it? Um, how about this? There we go. There we go. Uh huh. Up here. And. Let's walk over here. Fantastic. It's a little uncharted business over here. Okay. So now we just work our way around. Right through this hole. And come on down, yeah. Slide down. Ooh, 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 watch out. Be careful. Okay, slide down. All right, all right. Calm down, horse. Calm down. I'll open the barn doors. Okay, we can do that. Somebody locked it. We got the door open. I, I'll get him. Don't worry. Okay. Okay, come here, horsey. Be cool, dude. All right, little guy. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. All right, we gotta ride him. Come on. No time. We did it. We did it. Come on, let's go to the corral. Right through here, and we're good. Go look for Bonnie by the pen. Thanks, Marston. Yes, John, thanks. You, well, you saved the ranch. If you'll excuse me, I, I've got chores to attend to. Hey, w hold on a second over there. Sincerely, John. Thanks. Well, did all I could, Miss McFarland. Sorry about all the damage. That gang seems to really want you out of here. Yeah, well, my father fought Indians. I scarcely think we're going to be frightened by some white trash. White trash can be pretty frightening. Well, they don't frighten me. Good. John, my family owes you a great debt. I think you got enough debt. You saved my life. All I ask of you is this. If I get back home and get my farm started back up, you'll sell me some cattle. I prefer doing business with people I know. Of course, Mr. Marston. It'd be my pleasure. Um, well, you get some rest. I've got to go see how my father's bearing up. All right. So John's just going to take a nap right there, right in the sun, I guess. We've done it. We're heroes. We are bona fide freaking heroes. Okay, so, next up on the agenda, come here, horse. There you at. Come here. Come here, dummy. Mm -mm. Okay. So, I believe we have a few options here. Let's take a look at the map. We have Seth at Cooch Chapel. We have, well, we have another Marshall Johnson. And then we have Nigel West Dickens right over here. I say let's follow the marshal and see what he has to do. Yeah, why not? Let's find a nice place to camp. I believe we can do it right up here. 
Every time I see these rocks, I want to shoot them because I think they're bison. I would have been a terrible cowboy. All right. Use it. Let's go. <clears throat> and we want to go to Armadillo. All right. There we go. And here we are. Back in Armadillo. So we still have this lady right here. Whom we know we can't tie up. Because we will be shot at. Oh, this guy. Who took your horse, huh? Who took your horse? We got you, we got you. Don't worry, it's no problem. Ain't no problem shooting a man dead. Mm-hmm. I say we lasso him. How about that? How about we lasso him? Gotcha. Okay. Hog tie ya. And for good measure, we will execute you. <laughs> I don't know why I did it that way. So grisly. Oh. I was so busy executing this guy, I let the horse get away. Oops. <laughs> nope, those are brakes, huh? Those are brakes. Alright, I hear the coyotes, so that's something. Uh, let's go back. We got some martial work to do, but it looks like we just did some, didn't we? Shoot the man, don't retrieve the horse. Okay. Marshal, Marshal, Marshal. How's it hanging, big man? Where you at, huh? Where you at? Right through ha. Right through ha. Hanging body. Oh. I don't have a clue. Rough. All right, but it's got to be something to do with that government boy. We'll talk to him. Find out what he knows. Fucking is. Where is she, Marston? Who? Who? My daughter, you fucking scum. Where's Bonnie? I don't know. I haven't seen her since after the fire. Why? Why? Because she hadn't been seen since yesterday afternoon. I don't think I can cope. If I lose another child... Now, Drew, nobody's lost anything yet. I'm sure she's fine. Oh, Mr. Marshall! Mr. Marshall! Come out, come out, wherever you are! Who the hell's that? Hey, buddy! <laughs> that be your next fucking mayor. Even better! Good day, Mr. McFarlane! Get down from that horse, boy, or I'll shoot. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that, mister. Not if Drew McFarlane wants to see his bunny back in one piece. Hey, Mr. McFarlane! It's a nice girl you got there. Get out from there! You know, part of me's got to thinking I should just marry her myself. Give her a baby and that. What do you want? That's better. I want Norman Deke. I want him set free. Then you'll get your daughter back, mister. We don't do deals with outlaws, boy. Yeah, you do! Let's not waste each other's time pretending otherwise. Oh, government themselves ain't much more than a bunch of crooks. This is the land of opportunity, mister. And I'm giving you the opportunity to get your daughter back before 15 friends of mine take out all their anger and their loneliness on her. Where the hell is she? Where is she, boy? Bring Deke up to Tumbleweed in a couple hours. And don't get no funny ideas, or I will slit that horse throat myself! You boys have a pleasant afternoon. Yeah! What do we Jeez do? Louise. We do as he says. You and me, Marshal. Mr. McFarland, I'll get you your daughter back. I owe her that. Please do. Deputy, make sure he's tied on good. Stay with me, Marston. I won't let anything happen to her, sir. 
Oh yeah, don't worry. We're gonna save the hell out of her. Come on, let's ride hard to tumbleweed. <clears throat> All right, so we're with the marshal again. See, this is what happens when the federals interfere in our affairs. Are you happy now? No, I ain't happy at all. And I already told you, I ain't with the government. Now you say that, John, but the only thing I know for sure is who sent you. They made me come here. They gave me no choice. That's your federal government, Mr. Johnson. They come down here dressed as cocky as the King of Diamonds, talking a lot of flannel about helping us, about spreading peace and civilization to the West, but they brought nothing but trouble and taxes. I agree with you. Wolves in sheep clothing, all of them. Rob you, then make you pay to have someone investigate the crime on your behalf. People around here have been fooled into feeling protected when they're worse off than they were before. The fellas I know don't care about people. All they care about is lining their pockets. All right, so Why's this sorry son of okay, a bitch they're so talking to them. Norman Deke Williamson, right hand man. In other words, a glorified errand boy. Wait, Marshal. I'll be back for you. Bill Standards have slipped. We already filled you with lead once, you ugly bastard. That's the kind of man who's mean enough to be second in command, but too cowardly and stupid to ever be a leader. Don't ever use that line near your deputies. You know, for his sake, they'd best not have laid a finger on Miss McFarland. Oh, don't matter. I think what we're going to shoot them all dead anyway. Tumbleweed, a lonely godforsaken place. Some people say it's haunted. It was quite a town back in its day. Then they built the railroad to Armadillo and went clean past Tumbleweed. And that was that. Pretty soon, everybody had up and left. Now it's just thieves, smugglers, and bandits. Scum like Deke here. Oh, popular spot for lynchings, too. Let's try to avoid that if we can, Marshal. All right, so, Tumbleweed. I just hope True you're not taking town. advantage of the McFarland, Marston. It saved my life. Gave me we, food we, and bed, they had no idea who I was. I owe them more than I can ever repay. That's just they've been through a lot. Well, they're both vulnerable in different ways. I wouldn't have been running in and out of a burning barn to save their horses otherwise. Oh, I know you helped, just like you helped me. But you got your reasons for doing it. It's no secret why I'm here, Marshal. I told you the very first time I walked into your office. I trust you. It's just all this business with Blackwater and Williamson and the past. I don't know. Sometimes it's hard not to have doubt. I understand. I never planned to be in the lawman business, neither. How is this mess supposed to turn out? Sending an outlaw to do the work of a lawman. That's madness. Ain't much difference between the two, as far as I can tell. There have to be rules, Marston. Even you must understand that. It's easy to make up rules, but they ain't much use if people don't understand why. Like my son. If I tell him not to do something, he'll do it anyway, just to spite me. If I punish him, he resents me for it. But if I show him why it's wrong, at least he has reason not to do it That's again. That's nonsense. Without laws, we're nothing more than animals. You look at Deke here. Alright, John Marston, yeah, super dad. Yeah, worked hard at civilization. If your boy steps out of line, you whack him. If he does it again, whack him harder. You're a good man, Marshal. And I respect what you're trying to do. But from what I've seen since I've arrived here, the law ain't really working. Criminals are like weeds, Marston. Which you stomp one out, another one sprouts up in its place. It's the nature of places. You know that as well as I do. Alright. Good little talk on the path here. I really want to shoot this dude. God damn it! I ain't no use to you dead. Really want to shoot him. All right, I'll beat you. I'll beat you. Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. All right, we're in tumbleweed. You'll be exchanging the prisoner for Bonnie in the middle of town. Keep your eyes open. I sincerely doubt these scum plan to play fair. Fair my yeah. ass. You bet. Besides, Norm here is going to be my shield, ain't you, Norm? <laughs> It'd be my pleasure. John, you lead Deke into town. All right, Deke. Make the exchange. No funny business, right. huh? Start walking. All right, I'm <clears> moving. I will shoot the crap sure out of you. Nice for the boys to have a whore to play with. She's not a whore. She's a nice lady. Like it in the rear. 
Yeah, I want to shoot you so bad. Maybe she won't want to go home. She went fuck so good. What are you waiting for? I'm Tommy. Where's Bonnie? I thought we had a deal. Well, you thought wrong. We don't make deals with the law. Oh, jeez. You guys are all dead as hell, aren't you? Okay. All right, get down. Woo! <clears throat> we'll be fine. Norman's dead. Sorry, Norman. Just making sure. I really don't like you. Okay. Oh, hi! Get killed! You're dead? Okay, I hear Bonnie screaming. That is terrible. A terrible scream. Let's go this way. Okay. Oh, jeez. Bonnie. Oh, Bonnie, Bonnie, Bonnie. I got you. I got you. Don't worry. Don't worry, Bonnie. Okay. Got her. Okay. Okay. Run away. Run away. We're good. We're good. All right. That's a deputy. Ooh, ooh. Okay. There's some more over here. I shot a horse. I'm sorry I shot you, horse. You're dead. Oh! Executed. Alright, there's one guy over here. Let's shoot him. Ah! All right, he's right there. He's right there. He's right there. Let's execute him. Boom! That's what happens when you mess with my friends. That woman there is my friend. He's gone. This guy's in the house. Okay. Untie body. Oh, no. You think you're getting away? You ain't getting away. You kidding me? You do something that vile? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Let's go untie Bonnie. Poor, poor Bonnie. All right, Bonnie, I got you. Come on. It's over now. It's terrible, I know. Bonnie, are you okay? I'm fine now, Mr. Marston. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> What the hell took you so long, you stupid man? Well, you weren't exactly helping me. If you think I'm gonna lower myself by making a joke about being all tied up, you got another thing coming. Come on. <clears throat> well, that was it. You've saved Bonnie, and everybody left me behind. So now we have a whole lot of bodies to loot, I think. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I will be recording, of course. If anything of note happens, well, I'll put it into the video. But if nothing happens, no sweat off your back, you won't see it, will you? All right. I don't trust you, lady. I don't trust you. I don't trust you guys. Look at that. This was a setup. Yeah. Oh, armadillo. Let's shoot that thing. Armadillo. Armadillo. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. And I shot the lady. And I shot the lady. Alright, let's go loot these guys. Okay, so we're here at Ridgewood Farm. This is where Nigel West Dickens sells his wares. Let's see what he has. 
Looks like we're gonna be doing some horse racing in the buggies, I think. I think that's what it is. Oh, Mr. Marston! How are you, sir? I'm all right. I met up with your friend, Seth. Oh, <laughs> Seth of the Dead. <laughs> yes, <laughs> interesting fellow. <laughs> you don't meet many men these days with the moral fortitude to cut straight to the chase like that, do you? <laughs> Thankfully not, Mr. West Dickens. Yes, uh, contemporary society is remarkably harsh on professional exhumers. But did you know that in ancient Egypt, it was an art form valued more highly than literature? I believe Seth comes from that school of thought. <laughs> How very interesting. Look, you thought any more about our plan? Ah, your plan, dear boy. Your plan. I am merely the help, not mercifully the arbiter of wisdom. What you are, dear boy, is the man whose life I've saved twice now. A man who sells lies and deceit to unwitting people. <laughs> A man who, if he doesn't help me, I won't think twice about putting a bullet through his skull and feeding to the vultures myself. Ah, uh, you see, Mr. Marston, you have the exterior of a violent man, but the soul of an angel, and that is what I think I cherish most about you. <laughs> That's what I thought. Uh, <clears throat> but before we can attend to your particular problems, uh, um... Oh, we need some extra lubricant to oil the machinery of business. And uh, this being America, <clears throat> that lubricant with which we concern ourselves <clears throat> is money. Money? <clears throat> what are you talking about? Oh, oh, we need weapons. Armor plate for the wagon. Extra hands. <clears throat> and... I need some danger money. So, let's sell some more of these cures. Sell cures? Around here? Do you want to see me lynched? <laughs> no. The sport of kings. Racing, my friend. The sport of kings. A noble activity without reproach. Exactly the kind of activity where a lying, cheating, degenerate like myself can prosper. <laughs> Come, let's finish the loading and we'll discuss it as we drive. <laughs> All right, so it looks like we're going to be doing some horse racing. So you're going to talk to me there, Nigel West Dickens. Or are we just going to skip ahead? Let's skip ahead. Come on. What's he going to say that's so important? Nothing. Nothing he says will be important. All right, here we are. Horse is following. He's a good feeling. And here are our racers. Here we are. John. Okay. Gap tooth and we're good. Let's get out. And let's start our race. Why not? Is this my cart? Right here? This one? This one? Shut up and drive. Okay. Drivers! Y'all know the rules, but for you newcomers, this here's a fair race. Keep to your manners and let the faster cart pass. So now that's been said, y'all can get to running each other off the road like always. All right now, counting to three. Ready! Set! Okay, let's go. Excuse me. Move out of the way, dummies. I'm the best. You are the worst. Okay. Do not shoot other people. Not a problem, man. I'm not a violent person. Just an outlaw. Trying to fix his life. Reform his ways. Save his family. Do a little racing. Shoot a friend. Rob people. Shoot ducks, I guess. That's part of this game. You shoot ducks. Why not? Okay, so riding through these what are these mesas, these plateaus. Kind of neat. Kind of neat. Okay. Is 
So, let's take this winding path. These guys are closing in on us. Let's, let's hightail it a little bit. Let's get back on the road. That'll help. We're so far ahead, I think we can get away with doing a lot. I'm messing up. Mm -hmm. As long as we don't fall off, we're good. Okay. Whoop. Right through here. Feeding my horse too much. Alright, my horse is following. He's in the race now. Alright, we're doing good. Look at the, look at us. Look at us wrecking it, killing it. Look at these stars. Stars at night. I've lived in a city my whole life, practically. I don't see stars very often, if ever. So, is this what it's really like? Out in the middle of nowhere? With no light pollution? That many stars in the sky? That is beautiful. That is wonderful. He's so distracting. It's like glitter all over the place. Okay. So we're doing good. We got the finish line left. That's it. And I do believe, I do believe we are the victor. The victor. We've done it. Okay, let's go talk to Wes Dickens, huh? We've done good. Done good, Wes Dickens. Alright, let's skip ahead and close it out. So what do we have, Mr. Wes Dickens? You're going to drop me off right here in the well middle done, of nowhere? Sir. Well done, Having you as a ringer has netted us a fine profit. <laughs> we seem to be wasting time, old man. Oh, patience, my friend. The Trojan horse cannot run before it can walk, if you'll forgive the metaphor. Next, we need to procure some grand and overwhelming firepower. And for that, you need to contact an old friend of mine. Goes by the name of Irish. Irish. Yes, uh, he's an interesting kind of fellow. Um, he usually can be found in uh, Armadillo or some other town around here on some Bacchanalian revel or such. Uh, Great. An alcoholic arms dealer. What could be better? Well, okay. Okay, if you say so. So I think we have time for one more quest. And I do believe... I don't want to meet Irish right now. Let's go back to Seth, huh? So where's Seth at on the map? Let's go ahead and mark it. Seth is all the way at Cooch Chapel. That's not a problem. Okay, I'll tell you what. We're going to do a little, little tent time, a little campsite. And we'll go to Cooch Chapel. I was, gonna get, say, I was going to say Cooch. That's not what it's called. Okay. Uh, Cooch Chapel. Cooch, Cooch Chapel. It's not there. Ooh, boy. Okay. Um, I'll just go to Armadillo. I think it's the closest place. And we will skip ahead again. If anything interesting happens, I will be recording. If not, well, we'll just go straight to Seth. Hold on. Something's happening. Something's happening. All right, we saved her life. Shot this man dead. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we shouldn't. We, we shouldn't let him do that. All right, let's loot him. And where's my horse? There's my horse. Let's go. Had a lot of frame drops there. It's fine, though. It's fine. Okay. Off to Seth. All right, here is Seth. He's got, well, he's got a cart here. That's unusual. Seth. Hey, John. Hey, partner. Get what you need? Ready to help me? Not quite. Not quite ready. You see, I wasted a bunch of time looking for that last bit of map. And I got to thinking, Moses was a liar. And I imagine myself doing all kinds of unpleasant things to his corpse. <laughs> and then I realized 
You realize you were sick in the head? That you needed to move on with your own limited time on Earth? No, nope, partner. I realized Moses were no liar. The issue was Aiden O'Leary, who said he had the body. Aiden died in that flu epidemic, and the bodies weren't even buried yet. <laughs> Got the body sitting in the back of that wagon behind you? Yes, sir. <laughs> You're not even going to wait until they're buried before you... <laughs> well, they don't care, do you, boys? Honest folk, off to a better place. Apart from that Aiden O'Leary fella, I never liked him. They say he lay with his sister. I don't like women, partner. I don't. Not since Mammy died. Seth, what are you gonna do with those bodies? <sighs> I'm gonna take them back to a nice quiet spot and look for the map. I need the map, partner. I need it. I think we should be getting All out right, of here, that's fine. Whatever. Let's just go. All right. I know it's a clue to we search these sleeping beauties. All right, let's find a nice secluded spot so that Seth can desecrate yeah. these corpses. Why Day not? Left. No need for the people of Armadillo to see my friends back here. We good, we good, we good. Don't worry. Where are you? Come on, don't be shy. What did you say? I didn't say nothing. Alright, just make sure I can pull them? out my gun. So what if I am? I feel less alone with them than in a crowd of people. The way I see it, they lost their souls, just like me. You're truly a sick man, Seth. You remind me of why I hate people. For a man who kills so much, you sure seem to have a problem with the dead. I've killed everyone in the end. <laughs> they ain't so different from you and me. Besides from them being dead and rotting, I guess they ain't. All right, Seth, calm down. You talk to the corpses and I'll drive the wagon. All right, so, uh-oh. Oh we got some problems. Gotcha. Over here, you. You dead. Boom, you throw Molotovs at me, huh? Okay, we'll do it. Hurry up, Seth. Just going on a little trip. Come on, buddy. Do you think? Well, look at this. Some elixir. Oh, good for you. That's a good find. All done with this one. All right. Hey, this fella's a little right. Then he's got something on him. Okay. Oh, here they come. Hey, weirdo. Who's next? You next? Alright. Alright, good job, Seth. One more. We've done real good, huh, Seth? Okay. Is that it? Is that the last one? Nope, nope, nope. One more. Okay. Looks like we have the treasure hunters after us. Okay. Okay. Woo! Gotcha. All right. We're going up in flames, partner. All right, we got the map. I think. Are we good? We're good. Okay. I think we're good. Ah, up here. Can't up here's where you want to go. Well, Seth. Looks like the treasure's in Tumbleweed. That's where I was headed. Okay. It's fate. Okay. Keep Let's going. go this way. We're almost there. All right. Woo! Here we go. Somebody needs a new cologne. We gotta All right. Go faster, Keep looking. Partner. So we're going to Tumbleweed, huh? Well, I was just there recently. So I guess it's fine. Been spending a lot of time out here lately. Okay, so this is the bridge to Tumbleweed. It's a fine little town, or at least it seemed like it was at one time. Finally, Big house up there. I'm gonna be me on my Maybe then you can take a bath. All right. Thanks, Mister. I reckon I'll sit here a while trying to figure this out. I'm gonna be rich. When you're done with that, get over to Fort Mercer. 
I need you inside that place. After I find my treasure, mister. Well, that all worked out, didn't it? Sure. Sure it did. Sure it did. Okay, so I do believe, friends, neighbors, countrymen, that is today's episode. Hope you enjoyed what you've seen. But for now, this is Will. Keep on them happy trails. I was trying to think of something cowboy to say. I'm embarrassed. Take care of yourself. And I'll see you next time.